It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Josh Arnold is sitting in the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick chair. Hi! Okay, there you go. Uh, Josh is experiencing a uh, home ownership... Um, uh, I got uh, the home on the blues so uh, <laughs> We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Christy Lee, uh, uh, also a homeowner. And uh, homeowner says what? Uh, she says, uh, good morning from the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. There's Chick McGee. Through the glass, I see Mr. Pat Godwin, who's going to sing a song for dweller. us right now. Pat, yeah. Yes, Pat, indeed, an apartment dweller. That comes with its own host of issues at times, too. Yeah. Yeah. But not the kind you have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have any heat in your apartment, they, the, the super, if you will, the <laughs> landlord is usually responsible. Typically, not always. Right, right. Uh, and let's see, Willie G is right next to me. Uh, I'm his father and his landlord, I think, technically. Yeah. Uh, everything okay over there? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. You know? <laughs> How about the towel rack? Is, is that okay still? It's still out of a... <laughs> Pat used to live in the place. No, no. Wasn't me. You didn't fix the towel rack? No, I, I'm working on it. But the, the towel rack... Pat never said anything about the towel rack. One night, I'm, I'm using the restroom, and I kind of pull off the towel rack for yeah. balance as yeah. I get into the toilet. Yeah. And the thing just rips right out. Like, I'm like, oh. That's because it's a towel rack. <laughs> It's no, not a no, handicap. Well, I, some of them are supposed to be in. I think you're supposed to put those in studs. I think. Yeah, it was, probably. Is not, yeah. I barely pulled it. I go, hey Pat, was there ever any problems oh, yeah. with the towel rack? Oh yeah. Go, oh yeah, plenty of issues. But I got it fixed. It shouldn't have been. <laughs> That's not what I said. I mean, no, I just. I'll call Greg. Have him fix that. Okay, where was I? Um, oh, I made the mistake of bringing up a suggestion the chick had, which was to to move our today in history segment to the beginning of the show. Mm-hmm. Willie and I voted no. Then I received this from Dan. He writes, Dan's a genius. Willie is wrong. I would love today in history at the beginning of the show. Well, that's because you're listening now, sir. I <laughs> yeah. Well, sure. Maybe we should alternate it. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a fair compromise. Yes, yeah, so let's make it more complicated. Can I stage my case? I just think the stuff, <laughs> it, we always have a really fun sort of loose first break, and I feel like it sets us up for the rest of the show. I feel like if we start with, with birthdays, we're just going to be talking about Burt Reynolds all morning long. Yeah, We're going to be talking about uh, Jennifer Aniston all morning long. Are, okay. you're, are you trying to say that one of us would take a topic and drive it into the ground till we want to... <laughs> Do we want to hit our head yeah. against concrete? I wonder who that, that would be. Who would do that? <laughs> it's a long, long show. We got. I think it's out of the show. Uh, uh -huh. So we'll get to many of these things, and we have a, a Super Bowl parade on the water. Cool. Well, where else would you celebrate a championship? All right. They went in that boat, baby. They won the boat. Uh, well, the goat we'll, on the boat? That's right. Oh, this is Ferda, Ferda boys. This is headline, headline heaven. We'll get to that. Uh, They're chirping at the Chiefs, baby. That story coming up. Uh, Chiefs but, uh, are spare parts. That's what they said. Heavy chirping, boys. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, um, uh, Pat, we... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Shorzy. We, we dug up a story uh, yesterday because we'd been uh, working on something. and uh, Which one? Well, it's about a guy from uh, a place that I was not aware of called Cumming, Georgia. and um, So we're not doing sports here. Not yet. We're going to read this letter here. We've got a, n a number of letters from people who live near or in Cumming, Georgia. Oh, I yeah. met a man near there yesterday. Did you really? Yes, I did. Oh. Are you serious? It actually ties in with my home improvement. Oh, Got the bank? <laughs> the, the gentleman uh, the adv bank. advising me, uh, he said he was he's not used to uh, winter. He's from uh, Georgia. And I oh. said, what area? And he said, Forsyth County. Uh, oh, I right. said, Forsyth County? You must be even near Cumming, Georgia. And he said, I, absolutely. Well, that's giggled, so funny. It's a teeny tiny world. It comes yeah. full circle, doesn't it? This does comes come to us from a uh, gentleman in Cumming, Georgia. I don't want to use his name here. I said, this is the first time I've had a man coming in my house. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> a coming man in my house. <laughs> not well, counting. I, I, that is on me. Yeah. Not <laughs> counting you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially all over your furnace. That's just, that's just that's weird. Gross. That's gross. Uh, okay, uh, this gentleman writes, um, uh, I, um, I live in Forsyth County in Cumming, Georgia. Um, we have a massive water tower right off the main highway advertising and apparently celebrating coming. <laughs> oh, <I> celebrate. <laughs> All right. Would well, you please play, have Pat it. play his song? Uh, and now this, again, the news story, by the way, is important to get to. This okay. is where we learned about this is a gentleman in Cumming, Georgia, was arrested for trespassing naked in his neighbor's backyard. Uh, he was caught on a security camera in early January. And then I'm going to read this uh, verbatim uh, from the Forsyth Herald from Forsyth County. It reads as follows. 
The man allegedly committed a lewd act on the victim's front porch before leaving. The complainant added that they had footage, which was captured back in April, of the man walking nude through their backyard. Oh, boy. The gent turned himself in. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. fi- 51 years old, so I guess, as my mom would say, old enough to know better. <laughs> um, but uh, there's something weird about this. In any event... Um, uh, the fact that uh, I'm going to read the first line of the story as written by the, in, in the Associated Press. Okay. A coming man was arrested January 6th. The mid reports he walked through. <laughs> Never mind. So, Pat, you've uh, learned a lot about coming, Georgia. You can't stop the man from coming. Walking in your backyard nude. <laughs> Try and stop the man from coming. He's going to do something lewd. <laughs> he came on your porch and left a present. <laughs> they got it on video. <laughs> Caught in the act, the coming man. Now off to jail he goes. Oh, they finally stop the man from coming. He bears a heavy load. Georgia do the man from coming. Doesn't know if he comes or goes. <laughs> Maybe. That fills me with joy every time. <laughs> Coming up, my surprise for Ace Cosby. I'll be in a few minutes, I think. I thought that was yesterday. What? Didn't you have a surprise? Oh, we never got to it, did we? Well, I've been working on a special surprise for oh. Ace. Uh, See, everybody, everybody remember all this. He's been working on it, and we've been talking about it for okay, well, two days. Right, do you want to hear it? Yes. I think yeah. we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, recently... Um, this is it right here? <laughs> this is... Um, we're going to... Uh, this should be it. Okay. Depending on if the, if the electronic gods are with us. Uh, we had a recent uh, recording session. Yeah. Got uh, everybody together, got the band and uh, the strings, the horns, and uh, the singers. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to do something nice for Ace when we introduce him oh. as our engineer. And um, I have not the pro- I haven't heard this, so I hope it came out okay. Okay, let's let's let's, let's give okay. it a listen. There we go. Here's Ace Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, um, there may have been one mistake. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Let me, let me listen. Is there, are, the, are, the, are the girls not on the right key? No, no, they sound fine. Here, okay, here we go. It's higher than nuts on a giraffe. Is Crosby. Crosby? <laughs> His name is Cosby. You hired you people. Leave halfway through the session. Um, didn't they have lyrics? <laughs> you paid people. You right, paid you people to um, give them the wrong name? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All of a sudden, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there for this? There's no one supervising this I had to take. You? I had to take a call during the session. I love um, it. I love it. I love it. Maybe we're hearing it wrong. Maybe well, he, they are. Yeah, try, try it again. Here's Ace Crosby. Nope. It's a hard we're cross. Saying Crosby. That's an R in there. Yes, sir. You idiot. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It's the thought, right? Okay, take two. Take, there we go. Here's Ace Cosby. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. That must be when I came back in the room. Okay. Boy, that is good. Boy, that is handy to have, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we talk, I, I got your new intro for you here. Oh, thank you very much. I'd like to hear it. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. He's just a rogue. Well, boy, the Jetsons are going to sue you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I... He's just a rogue. That is meet George Jetson. Yeah. It sure is. <laughs> He's just a I specifically <laughs> told them not to do the George Jetson thing. <laughs> they, okay, uh, they uh, nailed it. Well, yeah. That's the only time we'll get to hear that. Yeah. 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 Hannah Barbarian. Give well, me Batman. It's not as good as... Here's Ace Crosby. What is it? Why'd you make mine all short and squat? Mm. Oh. Uh, I never thought you'd I'm ever let squat. anybody do anything over there without you directing. I'm shocked this is getting by. <laughs> Josh, mine is longer than yours. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, uh, I think we all the average idiot. Soon. Uh, oh, okay. Well, no, I, I do have a little surprise for everybody. No. Okay, no, I want no, you to... You don't. I want you to mind play your How about too? try this? Here's something else that's coming up. Don't don't sell it as a surprise, and then it'll no, be less it, of a disappointment. It'll, it's a surprise even to the person that is going to be getting a direction from the surprise. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. So yeah. uh, pay close attention. Let him fly. Okay. Oh my God. Here it comes. Ready? Here we go. Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Mm. Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. Hey. Oh. oh. Is you're going to be talking over it. Uh, yeah. Cultural <laughs> commentary. <laughs> oh, not really a joke. Oh, no, 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 no. The girls carry the narrative there. <laughs> As I was sailing under the bridge. I couldn't possibly. Now, what you're saying is that <laughs> what we need, rather than that one with the singing, we need me to discuss the op-ed page of Contemporary Morality with Ace Cosby. Oh, before radio, 
I used to work in a cemetery. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. Mm. I, I got fired because I buried someone in the wrong plot. Uh-oh. It was a great mistake. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. He's got these joke of the day. <laughs> oh. Well, you can overproduce Wait a minute. anything. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Hope everybody's doing okay. Yes. And we what? Yeah, we have a phone call. Who could this be? Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh, hey, Donnie. Donnie, how are you, sir? Going to be tough following Cedric the Entertainer. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. You know what? Speaking of celebrities, man, we lost a national treasure this week. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Larry Flint, Tom. Oh, yeah. oh the Hustler guy, Hustler there. Magazine. Yep. Yeah. But basically, he was the Hugh Hefner of Hustlers. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're exactly right. Yes. <laughs> if we're being honest, I thought that dude died like 20 years ago from like carnal tunnels or whatever put him in that wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And Christy, I don't always use the term hero, but this guy was truly an original American badass. In a way. So Kid Rock needs to find a back burner for a couple of weeks. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, you know they got kids bop radio? Yeah, yes, sure. of course. Speaking Why not have Kid Rock's bop where, like, Kid Rock covers real popular songs from... Artists you suck, like uh, <laughs> Miley Cypress or uh, Ariola Grande. Those great artists. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off topic, so I'm so upset. Larry Flint, you think about it. He is the man who brought boobs, butts, and you know what's into every dude's bathroom and clubhouse across these amber <laughs> waves of grapes. And here he was. Hugh Hefter at Playboy. Right. Bob uh, Gucci Gimme at Penthouse. Gucci Oni, but yes. I okay. think Gucci Gimme's the Lake Superior. Yeah. See more butts than Dennis Hoff. Man, that's the Mount Rushmore oh. of porn. They were the original four horsemen of the uh, apocalypse. <laughs> Swear to God. Wait a minute. Man, I still remember the first time my mom Phyllis got featured in the back in Hester's Beaver Hunt. Oh, God. That had to right. be awkward. <laughs> Proud day. Well, of course, you know, Tom, no boy ever forgets the day he accidentally stumbles across the glossy of his stepmom's spread eagle buck naked on the hood of his uncle Sonny's El Camino. You're right. I bet they don't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but see, Chick, that's back during the days when Chick showed more bush in the jungles of Viet Cong. Oh, yeah. It's just the trends. It looked like she's getting ready to buff out the dents and door dings she left on the set by climbing up here in her stiletto pump. <laughs> And if you stared at the epicenter, it looked like she had Haystacks Calhoun in a leg lock. <laughs> Swear to God. Harry, Harry man, okay, Haystacks. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I almost didn't recognize her till I seen the Molly Hatchet tattoo above her left hammer. Uh, and it was basically confirmed at that point. Had to be awkward. You know? It's faded now. Oh. Plus, I also recognized my uncle's, you know, El Camino from the airbrush front license plate that said Toon Hound and all oh, that. Sure. <laughs> Classic. So nice. <laughs> he is weird, you know. Being that my mom Phyllis is my stepmom, of course, after you discover something like that, then you got to decide if you're going to let the twitching go to waste. <laughs> so. That's enough. <laughs> hang, hang, up the, hang up the phone, Mace. Feel, no, feel free to break hey. off a few discussion groups. Just, just, <laughs> just hit the, hit the button, Mace. Oh, my gosh. Hit the button, Mace. Yeah, uh, Larry, yeah. Larry Flint, RIP, uh, yes. rest in... He well. died Wednesday morning of heart failure. He was 78 years old. He mm. launched Hustler in 1974. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm your quick, best client. Quickly grew to become one of the country's most popular adult magazines. In 2000, he opened the famed Hustler Casino. He was also, of course, president of Larry Flint Publication, which produces other magazines like Barely Legal, Pornographic Videos, and Hustler TV. I've been to the original Larry Flint uh, Penthouse Club. Oh, have you? Yep, I, I have a cup. Oh. There. Is that right? That's right. You get a soda, you get a take a take a cup home. What's it shaped like, dare I ask? <laughs> yeah, he started I in, uh, he had a Strip bunch of clubs in yeah. Ohio. bars in Ohio. Uh -huh. The hustler clubs. Yeah. Yeah, I had a, a friend who's an OBGYN uh, took a hustler magazine, opened it up and said, you know, I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> And I spent most of my time uh, looking at that. So, yeah, th those magazines were very um, very graphic. They got up close, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you, ever, did you ever take a gander at one of those, Christy? I've seen them. Okay. What is that, a yawning octopus? <laughs> a gander? Uh, yawning octopus. Uh, oh, is that yeah, deli it menu? Is. Yeah. Yeah, I, it is. Uh, someone had one in the back one time, and 
chick and I were looking at it, and it was a. Uh, uh, they it was a, a kind that's of pre, because pre, that's the way we did that together. Pre cell phone, no, no. <laughs> you guys right. hanging out back or uh, hanging out back there? Passing. You know, uh, uh, it, the the reason we were looking at it was they would have um, <laughs> the photographs the, from you know from home. <laughs> it would be the the you know, neighbor like, hunt. Yeah, and <laughs> oh, check! Look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. The the punchline is one of the one was it, so the photograph was taken by her mother. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah. and it's like, okay, can you imagine photograph by her mom? Oh, my God. Hey, mom, I'm trying to get into beaver hunt. Can you grab the Polaroid? And... Oh yeah. Hey, so, check you and Tom would uh, <laughs> uh, right back right. Would you do it back to back like two sleeping grunts in Vietnam? <laughs> And we'd, uh, we'd uh, give each other. Never mind. <laughs> we'd give each other other encouragement. Uh, what would happen if one finished before the other? <laughs> Sorry, we're just you, you, talking you about the hilarity. Right in, uh, you, just move forward here, Christy. Play, cool. What else have you got, George Christy? Washington's hair, John Kennedy's sweater, and several other items are being auctioned off for President's Day. Lost and based RR Auction said online bidding will begin today and run until the 18th. Our, our, items up for auction items there. Yeah. <laughs> include locks of George and Martha Washington's hair, <laughs> Andrew Johnson's order of a national day of mourning after Abraham Lincoln's assassination, mm -hmm. the pen that Warren Harding used to end U.S. involvement in World War One. Warren Harding, an unsung ladies' man. John F. Kennedy's crimson <laughs> Harvard sweater. Ooh, I yes. like that. Yes. As well as a photograph of Lincoln and his son Tad signed by the 16th president. Tadder. Wow. Yeah. The hair thing is kind of creepy, but... I, yeah. Oh, can you grab that? Hello, Bob and Tom show. Well, this is Dick Hitzwater <laughs> sitting in for Tug Latite. And this... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tug. 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 Well, it's almost President's Day, and there's a trove of nearly 300 presidential artifacts hitting the auction block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Items up for auction include locks of George and Martha Washington's hair, the pen that Warren Harding used to end U.S. involvement in World War I, and John F. Kennedy's crimson Harvard sweater. Wow. Now, here are some other presidential items that will be auctioned off. Oh. All right. A pair of Marilyn Monroe autographed <laughs> panties from JFK's collection, air-dried, yet still moist. Oh. <laughs> wow. a, lasa a, a lasagna, perfectly preserved in Gorilla gr Glue, <laughs> made in 1882 in the White House kitchen by none other than the president, James <laughs> Abram Garfield. Oh, how about that? Garfield Gar like lasagna? Garfield lasagna. And he had, he had a Gorilla well Glue. There you Amazing. Go. A well-preserved package of donuts that once belonged to James and Dolly Madison. I <laughs> see. Uh. A pair of singed house slippers that F DR war when he got a little too close to the fireplace during one fireside <laughs> check. Wheel him back, Mark. Wheel him back. He was totally oblivious. They started to smell. Oh, My a partially used tin of bag bomb that Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders used to relieve chafing. Bag bomb? Bag bomb. Okay. You know what bag bomb is? Oh, it's... For your throat? It's, it's, well, it's for the throat of animals. Mainly. Oh, okay. yes. Sorry, back to you. Oh. Bag bomb. And finally, <laughs> a signed 12-inch vibrating dildo figurine of President Richard Nixon known as the Tricky Dicky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this has been Dick Hitzwater sitting in for Tug Latite. And this has been some other news. Can we get our Gorilla Glue update? Yeah, um, Tessica Brown has, because of course, become known as the Gorilla Girl. She is the woman whose Gorilla hair... Gorilla Glue Girl. Yes, I'm sorry. She is the one whose, wo whose hair has been the uh, Gorilla Glued for more than a month. Mm -hmm. And she recently went viral after using the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive to set her hairstyle and was not able to get it out. She uh, took up Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Obing on his offer to perform a $12,500 procedure for free to get the glue out of her hair. Yes. The process took about four hours, and apparently it worked. I hope it hurt. I hope it was painful. No. Dr. Michael yes, Obing broke down his secret recipe to TMZ, explaining it's all just basic chemistry. He combined oh. medical-grade <laughs> adhesive remover, aloe vera, olive oil, and a dash of acetone to break down the polyurethane, the polyurethane which is the main ingredient, apparently, in Gorilla Glue. And now her scalp is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. she, she combusted. Mm. 
But the, the Gorilla Glue is getting so much publicity out of this. And I'm a big fan. I literally have some right here. Yeah, it works very well. This, this is not the spray, but... It's a good product. And there's an argument to be made that she's a total idiot. Yeah. Um, because I, she knew that it was glue when she sprayed it on her head. But yeah. you're going to start seeing uh, a disclaimer on all of this stuff. It already says don't use it on your skin, et cetera, et cetera. But now it'll say don't spray it in your eyeballs. And can I ask you, Dad, what do you use that Gorilla Glue for? I glue my skin together when it splits. Yeah. I've been informed that that's a bad idea. I've actually ordered some... Uh, Band-Aids? No, there's a... Medical grade? Medical grade sterile glue. I ordered it. I, I'm expecting oh, it to come you? in today. Oh, yes. that's good. Oh, okay, good. Nice. Well, where's yeah. the fun in that? Yeah, I know. Chick, no, can we... I guarantee it's the same stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. it is. Because <laughs> yes. apparently it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, super glue developed in Vietnam or Korea to suture wounds. It's uh, certainly sounds. effective. Suit yourself. Yeah, yeah okay. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. yourself. Very good. Suit yourself is what Pat Godwin said. We actually have more Gorilla Glue news. Godwin, what if your album name were Suit Yourself and it's a picture of you putting your suit on? That's not too bad. <laughs> suit yourself. <laughs> No, you're putting scrubs on. Suit yourself. Or suit yourself. And suit you're you, you, sewing your wrist pack together you're after giving Josh suitors? insulted yeah. you on the air? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I never insulted him. Do you know Lionel Richie had a first draft of a song that included Gorilla Glue? Did anybody know I that? did not. No, yeah. I didn't. Which one was it? Stuck in you. I went to grab the KY, but instead I got Gorilla Glue. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm here to stay <laughs> for at least three or four days. Stuck in you. That was the original uh, version. Boy, you, yeah. you don't want to you, you, you don't want yourself. Yeah. You don't want to get the KY. Bad. Oh boy, Ooh. that's rough. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.